From studio spaces to mastering suites and workspaces, I'm going to show you what it's like to study sound at VCU. So this is the concert hall con uh, control room. This is where we do a lot of surround sound and get to record the amazing uh, Bradshaw Hall here at the Conservatoire. So this is the SSL Duality desk. Uh, it's one of the largest in the Conservatoire. Here we get to record the Bradshaw Hall um, and also everything in 5.1 surround sound uh, and stereo. Now I'm going to show you some of our recording studios at Rollburn Conservatoire. Let's go explore Recording Studio One. Here we have one of the control rooms that leads over to the live room. Here you can record bands of all sizes and again on our SSL desk. We have fitted with Pro Tools and Logic, Ableton and, and doors that I can't even name off the top of my head, but play us out. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> let's go explore live room. So here we have one of our biggest live rooms. Oh, maybe the light should have been on. <laughs> um, and here is one of our biggest recording spaces. We've got kind of drum kits on the go, uh, grand pianos and mini mini grands in the studio. So we've got Steinway here, Boston pianos in other recording studios. Um, and Yamahas um, across kind of the concert halls and stuff. Um, we've got a range of great microphones ranging from AKGs to Rhodes, uh, Aston Spirits um, and as you go the years the more better they get. So we don't just have one recording studio we have multiple and they're all unique in acoustics and apparatus so we have quite a lot of gear and different outboards to use to cater to your musical preference. Uh, we also have a very unique relationship here with the Royal Birmingham Conservatoire students. So whether it's recording Foley or mastering an EP, BC really gives you the experience you need for the working world. So this is the mastering suite. This is where you take your recordings and make them into masterpieces. So here we've got state-of-the-art speakers, we've got Bowers and Wilkins, we've also got amazing outboard gear from Matalek, we've also got an SSL control surface and this whole thing is fitted out with a Prism audio interface. Um, but my favourite part of this entire room is the tape machine. So over here we have a studio tape machine. Um, there's not a lot uh, around and we're one of the only universities to have one. I myself have mastered um, many of my tracks on tape um, and it just adds that little antique sound and makes it quite uh, clean and also rough at times depending how you want to master your track. So this is the edit suite. This is where we get to kind of fine tune and make rough edits of our tracks. Um, so as you can see here, this is Pro Tools and one of our most kind of common editing tool softwares. Um, but we can also record in this uh, facility. So we've got some Focusrite gear, um, Audient gear, as well as um, ways to make beats. So we've got some crazy synths and sequences that you get to play around with, plug into the system and makes, make your own mu music, really. So next I'm going to show you the Mac Labs. That's where we spend most of our time learning software and kind of having our mini lectures there. So let's go check it out. So this is the Mac Lab. We have two of these in the conservatoire. We have Macs in both MIDI keyboards and audio interfaces. Here we'll kind of have one-to-one -one sessions or smaller workshops with your lecturers learning different software like Pro Tools, Reaper, Ableton and Logic. One thing to kind of note about BCU is the lecturers. They are very passionate about music technology. They give you work opportunities and experiences. Like myself, I had an opportunity to go to the Royal Shakespeare Company for a day and shadowed a head, head sound engineer there. Um, so it's very impressive with how much they care about their students and how much they're willing to give you. 
Now let's go tour the Millennium Point facilities. Welcome to Millennium Point. Over here we have even more studio space. So in this one we're still fitted out with SSL desks. We've also got a bunch of outboard gears. You've got compressors, limiters, uh, anything to help you make the best production possible. We've even got some unique acoustic equipment. So over in the studio, we have a Helmholtz resonator made by one of our students, which I'll show you now. So over here is a Helmholtz resonator where frequencies and air will resonate in the cavities here. So certain frequencies we like and don't like will resonate, making the, uh, the space more acoustically appropriate. So welcome to The Orchard, another room filled with Macs where we get to learn Pro Tools, Logic, Reaper for video games, MATLAB for coding. Um, in your third year, you get to sound design and collaborate with video game students and make your own video game. We also do a lot of experimental acoustic stuff. So over here, we have the drum tank where we'll run frequency sweeps through a room, learn how frequencies interact with the acoustics of the space um, and just kind of learn how sound reacts to a room. There's a lot of experimental stuff we get to do in our degree as well as producing and as well as studio time. So together they kind of go hand in hand and you really learn the whole science of sound. So I hope you've enjoyed our tour today and seeing what it's like to study sound at BCU. If you have any questions or want to chat with one of our students please look at the link in the bio.